The seven equations are a system of two equations to solve one dimensional and steady operational flow, for example, for flood modeling. One equation is the conservation of mass, and the other is the conservation of momentum. The method of characteristics is a technique for solving the differential form of the seven equation analytically, graphically, or numerically. This photograph illustrates Lockyer Creek. In March 2011, less than two months after the tragic January 2011 flood event. This second photograph shows a creek further downstream, looking uh, downstream from a bridge which was under repair at the time of the photograph. The differential form of the seven equation may be replaced by a characteristic system of equations, shown here, in which SF is a friction slope, S0 is a bed slope, on C is the celerity of a small disturbance. C characterizes the relative celerity of the flow motion. The method of characteristics was derived from the work of the French mathematician Gaspard Monge, and first applied by the Belgian engineer Junius Mosso to graphically solve a system of partial differential equations. Let us look at the graphical solution of the characteristic system of equation. In the XT diagram, the first equation is valid everywhere along the red forward characteristic lines, and equation 2 is very valid along the black dashed backward characteristic lines. Let us look at the simple case where S0 equal SF, and for which the initial flow conditions are known at location D1 to D4. At each of these locations, the slope of the characteristic trajectory is known, and the care forward and backward characteristic can be drawn. The characteristic equations give the velocity and celerity at the next step, since when SF equals S0, V plus 2C is a constant along the forward characteristic, and V minus 2C equals constant along the backward characteristic. And this can be extended at the next time step. For this example, the flow property at the point G1 are a function of the initial property everywhere in the reach, D1 to D4. This interval, D1 to D4, is called the interval of influence. In practice, an infinite number of curves may cross the interval D1 to D4 on the region D1, G1, D4 is called the domain of dependence. When conducting a linear interpolation from location where the flow property are known, the time step delta T must be selected such as the next point is within the domain of influence of the relevant interval. In turn, the time step must follow the following two conditions, called the current condition or current friedrich levy condition. The seven equations on the characteristic system of equations are essential concept for the numerical modeling of unsteady operational flow on its practical applications. They are discussed in the relevant YouTube video movie in the same playlist.